With the colonization of other worlds now in actuality, a worldwide race has begun to explore, colonize, and exploit the mineral riches of other planets. With an exploding population, Ufar realizes it cannot sustain itself with its dwindling natural resources. The Federation has committed huge amounts of resources to its space program, including terraforming and faster-than-light technology that can ferry resource-laden cargo ships from Mars to Earth. This economic burden has placed enormous strain on the quality of living conditions in Southeast Asia. Several opposing factions have arisen out of the disapproval of the government. Even some religious groups have dissented, believing that man's place is on Earth and only on Earth. Acts of sabotage and terrorism hamper the space effort, and the weakened Ufar military is having trouble protecting its key research and production facilities. Faced with the possibility of total collapse in the southeast province, Ufar is running out of options to stabilize its economy and diffuse the political climate. United Federation of Asian Republics, Southeast Province. The political landscape has become a minefield as public demand for democratization swells. Rebel activity is reaching unforeseen proportions. Crippling attacks on the industrial infrastructure are pushing the province to the brink of economic collapse. Report. Sir, there's been heavy fighting with rebels in the north. While our troops were engaging them, a small rebel group infiltrated and sabotaged the ore refinery. It's been completely destroyed. Damn. Without that refinery, we have no internal supply of raw materials. I'll have to speak with our diplomats immediately. If they can't cement some trade agreements quickly, our military complex will grind to a halt, and we'll be at the mercy of the rebels. diplomats and open a dialogue with our neighbors. The province will need to negotiate for gold and iron. Military and technological aid are also critical for stabilizing the region. Welcome back to Empire Earth and welcome to the next scenario in the Asian campaign. Harvest rice from the fields and bring it to market to trade with our neighbors. We're going to do that. Also build a bunch more of you here. And you were supposed to work, so please do so. You here do that as well. So the, the shtick here is that... Thankfully these guys are not particularly good against this cargo truck here. So the shtick with this mission here is that... Let's have some of you retreat a little bit. We, you move over here, please, and maybe a couple of you here do, do so as well. We only have food as a resource. We have other resources in stock, but we can't can't just harvest more of those because we literally don't have more. So we have to trade for other resources. And one of our cargo trucks has been destroyed. Yeah, sorry, I, I don't care. Let's see. There should be another one here somewhere. I thought I had another one here, but maybe I was mistaken. Oh, there's another one here. Okay, okay. Get another one of you here, and then let's get a diplomat as well. And I think this is this should just be... Yeah, this is just the Buddha statues here, which the rebels apparently don't like. Oh, these guys are still uh, following the other cargo truck. We can... Yeah, we can deal with that. You can, you can deal with that specifically. You come over here. Who's attacking us here? One of you here, okay. Send a tank over there. We are ready to open negotiations with our neighbors. Send us on our way to the capitals. We wish us luck. Okay, so those guys here are all dead. Good, 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 good. And we've got a bunch of you here ready as well. So you're just gonna stay here. You come down here. Yeah, the rebels here, you can't destroy their bases or anything. There's they just spawn. So this is a classic. Okay, you let's go to one of these fields here. This is a classic. You can't do anything situation, which makes this a bit frustrating. So yeah. So the idea here is what's happening here. Whereas, and also the rebels have a lot of long range stuff. 
So where are you? I see something on the blip on the radar here. Okay. You go into hospital range here, please. Lest you get yourself destroyed. So they have a lot of long range stuff. Especially these mortar troops here as well as artillery. Like the classic howitzers. Yeah. Is there more? Because I do see another blip here, but yeah. You know what? I, I don't care about Buddha statues, sorry. So we've got a quite a, quite an amount of food here. We'll we'll get to get to the food here. But more about that in a bit. We might wanna maybe position like two guys here or so. Let's see. Someone under attack here. Here yeah, you here. Okay, they're attacking that. That's acceptable. We can send someone over there. Maybe just a bunch of you here for the time being. Oh, you're behind the wall. Of course you are. Should have known that, uh, but never mind. We can... We can deal with that. Yeah, the, the critical structure here is the... Come over here. You should attack that guy automatically. The critical structure is the... There we go. Is there someone... Yeah, there's someone there as well. That's fine. Got a hospital right here and whatnot, so that should be fine. Uh, so you here, just come home, and you will destroy machine. Actually, you know what? You could, you should come over here. So who? Oh, you are you attacking these guys? Yeah, that's fine. This is hospital range. Uh, that's acceptable. But I don't want to lose any of these structures here. Let's send this guy here also into hospital range. There we go. There we go indeed. Okay, okay. We can put one of you in here already. Okay, okay. So the food's coming up nicely. Could build more citizens as well. They want food faster. I'm not gonna need that many later, but yeah, we'll we'll have to see. We'll have to see. What, uh, I'm not sure how fast they actually pay off. Obviously, they will pay off because there's unlimited food here. But yeah, I'm not quite sure how fast they actually do that. Uh, it doesn't matter too much. Maybe you can come over here. I did have. Uh, it did have these guys here. They're like vaguely guarding those rice fields. Maybe you can come down here or so, just a bit closer to my other stuff here. Also, you can build walls, but keep in mind that you will need stone for the actual research structure that gives you, this gives you access to the fast sunlight technology, so you can't spend too much. And allegedly, you can harness stone from these temples here, but that just doesn't seem to work. It's, it's just bugged. Yeah, it's just... Uh, I think it's probably the best example of the unfun design that they have here, because they have a decent idea that you have to trade for resources, but then they mess it up by having the AI just spawn troops and then restricting all technologies as usual. And it just feels it just feels like fake difficulty if if there's not maybe like one mission where they they restrict your technology so you have to make do with no air units or no tanks and just infantry or whatever. But they do that all the time. They just they do nothing else in this game here. There's just almost no missions where you can just you just build stuff. No, they just almost never do that and it's really frustrating. Where am I actually sending you to over here? Yeah, I guess that's fine. Don't think I can build another granary here, can I? I could move these guys further down here, but I'm not sure whether I want to do that because they're also going to be more exposed there. Yeah, so not sure about this. Let's just try to get all the food we need and do that in one one swoop. Yeah. Uh, how expensive actually are these trucks? I think they cost a hundred. Oh. Cost a yeah, 100 iron, so that's not too much. And we can trade for more iron. So we're gonna send a diplomat in trucks to Taiwan here, which is not an island, or maybe they have a non island colony, who knows? I mean, they're claiming all of mine in China and like bits of like 20 other countries at this point here for political reasons. Uh, and because Taiwan can't, can't really retract its claims because that could be read as a step towards independence. So they kind of have to uphold their rather insane claims. 
which includes like all of Mongolia, parts of Russia, parts of like Central Asia and various other countries. So I think there may be nobody who claims as much as, uh, as Taiwan, even though that's, it's not really, that's not really a political reality. But anyway, enough about current politics. Yeah, so we're going to send food to Taiwan. Taiwan are going to give us uh, shock troopers. The shock troopers will go to Russia. Russia is going to give us iron and, and or gold. And then we're going to send that to Japan. And Japan is going to give us tech. And then the tech can be used to establish our faster than, than light traveling technology. And then we're going to go to space. The final frontier until you start traveling through time, which the Russians have been doing, then it's no longer the final frontier. So I think I want to do this in one go, so I'll just try to collect as much food here as possible. I'm not sure whether the rebel attacks intensify if you do or do not do certain actions like establish diplomatic contact and stuff, but yeah, it seems you are moderately safe. Yeah, we also have these, these universities here. We had one here, I just deleted that because I just want to protect these ones here. You don't really need to destroy that, but if I don't do that, then they might just shell it for a while. This just makes me nervous, so I don't want to do that. Also, we have this dune uh, wind trap here, which is actually a temple. Yeah. So here's yeah. Also, we're in East Asia. We've got rice fields here, but nothing else here is, uh, looks even remotely Asian. But then again, I'm not an Asia expert, so what do I know? You're mar marching all the way over there. I don't think that's particularly necessary. Maybe you should just hang out here. At least a couple of you. Maybe not everyone, just in case you get yourself attacked, but a couple of you could maybe deliver food a little bit faster here that way. The good thing is that the trucks are actually pretty beefy against what the rebels have. So at least the rebels don't have at this stage here. And like cyborg troops that destroy these trucks here in one shot or so. Actually, we do have Asian houses here. And they're even called House Asian here. So I take that back. It's all very Asian. Yeah, deliver those apples or rice, whichever one it is. I've got rice patties here, just like in Age of Empires 3, only considerably uglier. Yeah, the basic idea is actually pretty solid, I think, but it, the execution is just uh, severely lacking, in my opinion. It also seems to be a bit random here what happens, and there's also a number of bugs. Uh, I've mentioned the, the stone statues here, but there's also other ones. Oh, someone chipped away at this Buddha statue here. There's one that, so when, when you get soldiers from Taiwan, they just march over to your, one of your bases, but... They can actually uh, occasionally just don't turn over to you, which is frustrating if you need like one more soldier, because you get them in a batch of 20, and if you don't, if one of them gets stuck, you just get 19, which may, then may not be the number you need, so you need to get a whole other batch, which just isn't so great. But oh well, so we're getting close to having the amount of food we, uh, we're needing here. Almost have 6,000, and also three of the, the lorries here ready. Good, 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 good. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, we can train more infantry and whatnot, but yeah, that costs us food and iron, and we cannot spend we can spend all the food in the world, but not too much iron because there's just none left. All the all the world's world's iron is like in Russia, which is why we need to go to space so we can so we can harness more resource from Mars and other places. There we go. Got that. Got that food. Ten four. All right. I decided to go for, for like four trucks here and eight thousand units of food, just in case I lose any of the troops. I'm not at, really at the edge of succeeding here, so let's just rush through here. Is a rush being a relative town because these lorries aren't particularly fast. The good thing is that these guys here also aren't particularly. Not particularly effective against the trucks. The the oh, what are you doing here anyway? It doesn't really matter. Put you here. So these guys actually would be, but they okay. Let's not get you killed. Well, too late. Okay, you're gonna get yourself machine gunned here most definitely. Yeah, this is actually not a problem because the the the, the the Taiwanese are going to destroy these guys here as well. So the, the rebels are hostile to everyone, which is a good thing. So at least we don't have to worry about them like harassing our trucks in their base or so. 
Yeah, you're still machine gunning that Buddha statue? Yeah, whatever. Don't have time for that. Just, just come over here, they should have some troops there. Of course they have an airfield. Uh, not a super tough airfield. In fact, that airfield's half dead. What's happening here? Oh, laser tower. Yeah. Sorry, Taiwanese don't like you either. Okay, there's our diplomats. Taiwanese diplomat. I your Thank you for coming. We are experiencing a serious food shortage right now, so my government has authorized me to broker a trade agreement. In exchange for food, we will send you troops. Simply dispatch a cargo truck to one of our granaries and the food will be delivered. Upon delivery, troops will be released from our compound and given marching orders to one of your cities. I think this will prove to be a mutually beneficial relationship. Alright, alright. So now we just need to make sure that the troops actually appear properly and that, that they don't get themselves killed on the way here. Good thing is we will have some spare troops here. Your food shipment was received. Troops have been dispatched and will be at your command once they arrive at one of your cities. All right, looks like we need some more support here. Yeah, you get you get yourself lasered. Okay, could you please? Or do we do have to wait for the for the next batch here to arrive? Okay, maybe we should actually take a step back here because the Taiwanese make oh what the hell. May get themselves destroyed here. Also, you guys are gonna use yourselves killed by helicopters. That's not ideal. How about some of you come over here? The rebels have helicopters again, of course. Uh, how about you get yourself destroyed here? That would be very much appreciated. Okay, we have to get rid of the these guys here first because they... Okay, then let's go, go in here. Okay, let's not do that. So you may have to wait for these troops here to to actually arrive. Did, did we lose one of our lorries here? Seriously? Ugh. Oh wait, no, that, that one already... Already disappeared, didn't it? Okay, yeah, get over here then. No, I think there's there's two um, two rounds of troops here marching towards us, so that that's good. Okay, let's take out this artillery here. There we go, and you here. Yeah, try to come over here so you can maybe fix yourself. You may survive, you may not survive. Can't have everything. Okay, you just stay here. It seems they just do this in batches, which is fine. Yeah, there we go. So the next lorry just disappeared, which is appreciated. Okay, where did those troops go? Diplomats, I think you're just gonna stay here because we have to make sure that you actually find your way over there. Let's build another one of you here. Could send him down there, but I'm not sure whether the, the diplomat's gonna survive that. I guess we could just give it a go. If he dies, he dies. Could send an escort, but I don't think it's worth it. And there we go, you're dead. Okay. Ah, there we go. Here are the soldiers. Some of them already under my control. You maybe come over here. Okay, here we go. Indeed. Now they're, they're slowly turned to my side. Occasionally not all of them do that, which can be a bit irritating. And yeah, here's, here's another batch. Oh, those are my sentinels. Those are not the shock troopers. Okay, okay. 
And oh, oh, here's just another granary. Okay, well, yeah, sure, whatever. It's fine with me. Is there a reason why you are? How can I help? Right. Oh, oh, you, oh, the you used up the filter. You do what? That's fine. Troops have arrived at one of your cities and are awaiting your command. Sure. Troops will also arrive at one of my other cities and also await my command. Is there a reason why you go into that niche specifically? I don't know, but it doesn't really matter. Just come over here so you don't get yourself killed because you're you're expensive. The required amount of troops from Taiwan. Good, good, good. Of course, sir. So this should be the final batch then. Did we? Oh, we did actually get a bunch of them here. Good, good, good. Can I assist? You're actually at the right spot. Because the Russians are right over here. Okay, there we go. Is there a select across map command? I'm not sure about that. But anyway, you just come over here. Okay, then we need to get you over there as well, but we, we can do that. So there was a machine gun team here. Uh, we can probably deal with those. You got it. Of course, sir. With our shock troopers here. Yeah, you march through that rice field. Good, good, good. We've got another one of you here. Nice. Well, we'll get to you. Yeah, I think they were here uh, by these by this ancient temple. You got it. We might course, lose a, a handful of shock troopers here, but that's okay because we have some spares for a reason. You got it. And the Russians accept shock troopers in batches of ten. Of course, so if you have a batch of twenty and you lose one, you it. it's not like the entire batch will be useless for trading. But where was that tank destroyed? I thought that was here. Of course, sir. Well, whatever, just march you through here. I'll take it. Yeah, seems to be safe. We're already Can close to our... Sir? Yeah, there's another shock trooper here. Course, Let's try to not leave any of those behind. You maybe take a step back here. Uh, you should be at the front lines here. Oh! Ah, we're not gonna do that. I don't think we're gonna do that. And we had more of you here as well. You can stay here to guard the university. Here we have our shock trooper troops. Yes, Commander. Oh, these are actually the sentinels. Never mind. Can I assist? Troops have arrived at one of your cities and are awaiting your command. Okay, I'm not sure what that happened. I guess it's because we sent them over there again. Yeah, maybe, maybe that was the reason here. Yeah. Anyway, let's send them over to. Nova Russia, together with a diplomat here. Of course, sir. Then we can open some negotiations. This is actually the 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 new Russia from. Oh, they've got some destroyed walls here already. From the Russian campaign of the base game, which is one of the better campaigns. Oh, together with the German campaign. Do they have here? Hyperion. Do they have some fancy artillery? Okay, seems to be safe so far. There's one, one little straggler here. That's okay. I don't see any darkly colored sentinels, aka shock troopers. Good, good, good. You got 
Nice, nice, nice. Missile troopers here as well, and more Asian houses, I guess. We, uh, I mean, Russia, Russia being here is somewhat appropriate because it is actually west of, well, depends on, north and west of East Asia and part of East Asia as well. And not just a European country, even though that's where its population is concentrated. Yeah, they've got, oh, look at that. And here is the command unit. So that's, that should actually be Grigor the second, but it's not called that. He's not called that here, but yeah, that doesn't really matter. Wait, did I... Can I yeah, you come over here. Course, so the diplomat, yeah, you were here. So let's send you to the town center, yeah. Good, good, good. And then let's negotiate a troop exchange here. Welcome, comrade. I was most pleased to hear of your offer. My country is interested in exchanging resources. We are not in need of food, however. We would be happy to trade raw materials in return for trained military personnel. For every 10 troops you send to our fortress, we will provide you with iron and gold. This is generous, no? It is a great pleasure to be doing business with you. Many thanks for the additional troops, comrade. We have delivered to you gold and iron in return. Many thanks for the additional troops, comrade. We have delivered to you gold and iron in return. Many thanks for the additional troops, comrade. We have delivered to you gold and iron in return. Many thanks for the additional troops, comrade. We have delivered attack. to you gold and iron in return. Many thanks for the additional troops, comrade. We have delivered to you gold yes, and iron in return. We have received the required amount of iron from Russia. Many thanks for the additional troops, comrade. We have delivered to you gold and iron in return. Many thanks for the additional troops, comrade. We have delivered to you gold and iron in return. Okay, we could lose a tank here. Yeah, I think we will lose a tank. Let's drive down here and many thanks for the troops indeed, comrade. There we go. Save this guy here. What's happening here? Oh, there's a, there's a mortar guy there. In fact, there's several tanks as well. I do not like that. So you please deal with those those folks. And you here take step back. Oh, these guys actually come for us. That's uh, not ideal, but we can, can deal with you, I, I believe. Okay, let's try to dodge here. If we can. There's quite a lot of guys. And okay, that missile didn't kill you. Okay, well. Well, whatever. Okay, so this guy here is dead. Let's see whether he can keep dodging you here. Because you're not head scan. Tank doesn't really do much damage here. The missile, the Thor here, deals a little more damage. Oh. Okay, you come down here. You will need to get into hospital range here. You here as well. And maybe I can withdraw an additional tank from here, over here, yeah. Okay, okay. So now we have plenty of resources. So now, mm hmm. Yeah, then we can send. Now we can send resources to Japan. I think it even mentioned how much that was here. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, five thousand gold and five thousand iron. So we actually have that. Good, 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 good. So then we can send stuff to Japan. How can I help? Yep. Do you have a diplomat here? Sir, yes, sir. All right. Time to send these troops to Japan, which is now on the Asian mainland, no longer an island, and it's also in the southwest here. Well, I'm not sure how that happened, but I'm not a Japan expert, so what do I know? Good, good, good. Yeah, regarding structures, I'm not sure whether I've mentioned that, but you can barely build anything. You can build a couple of things, but not really much. Ooh. Looks like Japan's not a, not a fan of these rebels here. And the rebels are also not a fan of Japan. 
They've got this World War II era radar center here. It used to have Sonic hateds. Man, that guy just marched in here. Are we? No, it looks like we are. Okay, that's fine. How do these guys actually compare to Sentinels? Way better range. It's almost the same attack. They don't have gun armor, but they also can't improve their gun armor. That feels a bit strange, but okay. Never mind. Japanese not interested in rice fields here. Where are all of you going? I told you to move over here. Seriously. What, what are you doing? I'm afraid our food supply is more than adequate. However, we are in need of iron, the only source of which lies in the Russian territories. We are currently at a diplomatic impasse with the Russians, who refuse to trade with us. But since your nation is in a position to obtain iron from them, I think we can come to an arrangement. Send cargo trucks to us, and iron will be delivered from your supply. In exchange, we will provide you with technical assistance that will aid in research for your space program. We look forward to a prosperous partnership. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna send them to the settlements here. So let's do just that. Good, good, good. A shipment of iron has been received. Four more shipments and we will send our scientific data. Yeah, I think just this just takes a moment. How can I help? Okay. Standing by. Affirmative. Another shipment of iron has been received. Three more shipments, and we will send our scientific Ready. data. Okay. They're right here, just for the taking. Just email me that data if email still exists in this. A distant future. Okay, there's a bunch more of you guys here. That's fine. Could maybe. This guy sounds kind of threatening. He all sounds very American, not particularly Japanese. Maybe the Japanese hired Americans to negotiate for them. What's it now? Well, whatever it was, that may have been an air unit. One final shipment, and we will send our scientific data. Waiting orders. Sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, almost there. Another high explosive tank. Where are you going? The last shipment of iron has been received. Please accept the scientific data with our compliments. Where are you going? faster than light technology. Sure, we're going to do that. Let's build a chronosphere here. Okay. Are we under attack? I guess we are under attack, but that's acceptable. So let's see. <laughs> build a faster than light a research center. We can do just that. Okay, okay. The situation is getting out of hand. Public demonstrations demanding more democracy are resulting in riots. If we don't dismantle part of our military complex and make way for democratic elections, we face anarchy and political overthrow. The first step is to disband some military units to demonstrate to our people that we are not a fascist military state. So there we go. So this is probably the fakest of all the restrictions we have here. So we have reduced the arm to 10 or less of each uh, type of unit military units can be replaced afterwards. This just feels 
this just feels incredibly often. Also, now I have to like what like count what what units I have, and we have to do that while we're being attacked, which just does not feel great. But anyway, let's see whether we can re maybe reduce our forces this way as well. So how many of these tanks do I actually have? I guess we may have to delete a couple of them here. And yeah, I'm not sure about that. Let's delete one of you here. You're damaged. I don't think I have that many of these guys here, but let's see. Uh, these guys are actually doing quite well, especially considering that they, yeah, don't have the... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. This, the, the Sentinels do... There we go. So let's just march here. Yeah, I might actually lose a bunch of you here anyway. But I don't think I have that many of the non-Sentinels. So also, is there, is there any sort of indication of how many of these guys I actually have? Oh, big boy artillery here. Don't like that. Okay, so you're dead. Nice, 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 nice. So how many more of these guys do I have to delete, actually? I think I still have too many of these tanks here. Okay. Okay. Of each type of... So is that... What is type here? Is it... Is it like vehicle or is it infantry? I, I'm not quite sure about that objective, if I'm being honest here. But yeah, this just feels like an inc incredibly fake restriction. Especially now that, that these guys are under attack as well. Okay, you come over here. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna delete you here. One enter air guy here. The so what? Does this really mean we have to? Also, the citizens attacking the other citizens. Does it really mean we have to get rid of like one one specific kind of unit? Oh yeah, the tank's still here. Never mind. So. Okay. Fine, we're going to delete more of you then. Okay, how much more do I have to of my military do I have to destroy here? So this actually counts. Seriously. I don't have that much left. I've got these vehicles here. I've got one I've got two guys here. Oh wait, I have like more guys in the field here. Okay, I guess time for you to go. There we go. In tandem with the establishment of local elections, has diffused this most recent political crisis. Let's get a bunch of you here. Oh, oh, now you want me to have military. Now you want me to have military structure as well. Let's close this one here off. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, this just feels like such a fake restriction. Like, seriously. The game requires you to delete your army. And then then you get attacked by a strike force that just gets troops for free. Like, seriously, well, what kind of what kind of mission design is? Okay, now we have to keep... Uh, also, I lost, uh, lost a bunch of my citizens here, I guess, because they... The right hand, that's okay, I can build more of those. That's that's not the issue here. I'm not sure they still have to defend the universities at this point here. But anyway. So they're destroying the temples here, so these guys are gonna come for me. Get some enter air here ready. Put some heavy mortars here. More of that here. Mortar guys, you get more. Ready. Okay. There was a maximum number of improvements, okay. Right away. Okay. Are you built me that here? I'm gonna have more citizens ready for defense. Do I actually mm -hmm. 
You know what? I could actually build some artillery here as well, yeah. Of course, now they have... They, of course, have, have killer robots from the future. Of course they do. Okay, well, I guess I better repair that research center. You need to get into... Oh, actually, you should come down here. All of you, you should come over here. Maybe I should have closed that, yeah. Are you serious? This is this is just dumb. Yeah, see you next time.